Hi and uh, welcome to another uh, quick tutorial. Uh, this time we're looking at the uh, uh, Intellivision cartridges. So I just got a few uh, laid out here. Um, when it comes to uh, cartridges for the Intellivision, there's really no rhyme or reason to them. Um, as you can see, there are a bunch of different uh, styles. Uh, these are the most common. Um, you've got the uh, Mattel um, who uh, made the system, uh, their cartridges, um, which is a you know pretty basic uh, design. Then you've got the Parker Brothers who uh, decided to uh, make them look a little bit more futuristic, I guess, embellish them a little bit more. Um, you have the uh, Imagic cartridges, uh, it has a very tight point at the tip. If it'll focus on that, there we go. So uh, you can see that has a very small tip there. Um, and you have the Coleco, um, who later on uh, decided to uh, uh, make their own system. Uh, but you know, looks kind of more like an uh, Atari cartridge, uh, but it is a in television. Now. Since there's no rhyme and reason to the actual design of the cartridges, um, there's no default way that these are assembled. Um, so, in this video I am going to focus on uh, the original, the uh, Mattel uh, cartridges. But just to uh, quickly let you know about these, um, every one of these cartridges are screwed down with a couple of screws. And for all of these non, uh, I guess you can call them non-official uh, licensed games, uh, the screws are going to be underneath the label. So I'm going to make a different tutorial later on on how to remove the label, uh, labels and how to reapply them uh, so that you can get to the screws uh, without uh, destroying the label itself. Uh, but with that out of the way, let's uh, get these out of the way since they do not apply, and uh, instead focus on the Mattel. Now, again with these, you really don't know what you're getting into. Um, basically, they just put them together with whatever they had lying around. So, just to show you here, um, you will have one type of cartridge, if it'll zoom, there we go. Uh, you can see that this has a, a triangle tip. Whereas the other one has a standard Phillips screw. So, um, you know, at least with these, uh, the screw points are really easy to get to. Whereas with the, uh, you know, non official licensed ones, you have to go through the uh, label. But, uh, you know, we're just gonna take this one apart. So with Mattel, really easy, you got two screws on the back, just take those up, and then this will just pop out. So you just uh, kind of lift that up and slide that out, and that'll expose the actual uh, uh, game itself. And again, you just pop that up and uh, slide it right out. So we're going to put that on the side. Sorry about that, uh, someone was at the door. So, uh, anyways, let's get back to this. So, uh, basically, uh, you can see here, this is where the actual pins would uh, come out. And uh, you got the inside of the cartridge with the screw points. So, uh, you know, this is really simple to take care of, but we do not want the label to come off. So, you know, even though it's not the most pristine label, um, so, we're just going to clean this up with a Q-tip. Uh, same with the back plate. Um, normally I would just toss this in like a hot soapy water, but it's not that big, so I can easily just go over that with a toothbrush. Um, as for the uh, game itself, you have the two uh, uh, ROM chips at the top there. Let's see. Focus. There we go. So um, you can see you got two ROM chips on the top, and then you've got the connector pins at the bottom. So uh, you can see that those are kind of uh, worn down. They've definitely seen better days. So uh, I'm just gonna, you know, 
go over this with uh, some uh, uh, isopropyl alcohol uh, and a little uh, sandpaper just to get rid of uh, most of the corrosion. So uh, I'll just go ahead and do that right now. Now, um, again, uh, I've said this before, but uh, the reason why I'm using uh, sandpaper, this is extremely fine grit, it's 1200 uh, uh, grit sandpaper. The reason I'm using that on the contact points is basically just to, you know, let me show you here. Um, so, each of these uh, uh, contact points will have to uh, connect uh, properly in order for the game to work. And uh, all that this is doing is basically just taking off a very, very small amount um, on the tip of these. Basically just exposing uh, the metal, which will make for a much better contact. However, uh, you have to be very careful. Because uh, if you do it too much, then you basically take off the metal. Um, so basically I'm just ever so giant, uh, ever so gently just uh, going over the tips uh, just to uh, get a little bit better contact surface and uh, I don't put any weight on this I just let the paper ease over like so and then uh, I'll take a, a q-tip uh, and uh, Put that in some uh, isopropyl, which is 91% alcohol. Um, you have to buy the strong alcohol. Um, any less and uh, the uh, moisture will uh, cause the damages to your circuit board. Um, I've said it before and I, you know, I can't say it enough. You can't put any kind of moisture or water on a circuit board. It'll fry it up like there's no tomorrow. So uh, alcohol will evaporate right away if you get the uh, strong uh, isopropyl. Uh, if you have a lower percentage then there's water in there and that water will cause damages to your uh, circuit board. Uh, so uh, we're just gonna take this here and uh, I don't know if you can see that but uh, maybe if I do that No, doesn't want to. There we go. Maybe. So uh, you can see that uh, there's, uh, you know, a lot of uh, dust and grime on these contacts. So just to uh, go over them like so, and then uh, we're just gonna let this uh, dry and then uh, come back and uh, reassemble it. Okay, so uh, this has had uh, time to dry, so we're just going to put that back together again. And uh, it's really easy, you just take the uh, uh, case, put the uh, cartridge in with the uh, contact points uh, first, and uh, just slide it through that little uh, crack at the top there. So this goes from inside and straight through there. And then uh, at the top here you'll see that there are some uh, nooks and uh, those will fit into some pegs inside of the cartridge so that the screw points uh, up here will uh, align perfectly and then this is not going anywhere this is uh, you know stuck in there so uh, take the bottom and uh, slide that in and then just screw it back together and uh, that's really all there is to it so it's a really simple cartridge uh, and, uh, you know, all of the Intellivision cartridges are going to be as simple as these, as long as they come from Mattel. Uh, all the unlicensed ones, as I mentioned, they're going to be a whole different story, uh, because all the screws are underneath the label. But, uh, yeah, there you have it. So, uh, thank you for watching, and uh, I hope you uh, learned something today.